Yuri, in 1952, pointed out that a limit on the possible temperature distribution within the moon can be derived by an indirect argument using the moon's gravitational figure. If the temperatures within the moon approach the melting point of the silicates, then the figure of the moon should closely approximate that of a fluid with an equivalent density distribution. Let's say we have uh, a line uh, here, and that is a diameter of a spherical object, and it's radially symmetrical about its center of mass. Its moment of inertia would coincide with its center of mass, and what that means is from an exterior view, looking at a gravipotential map, this would appear the equivalent of a mass point. Right, so if you're trying to turn this axis, this diameter, axial diameter, and it's only one point, it's easy to turn. Like what I'll do is I'll hold something up, I'll tell somebody, here, here's this pencil. Hold this pencil, pin, pinch it as hard as you can, and, and prevent me from rotating it. Well, nobody can do it. But then if I say, hold it in two points, now I'm going to try to rotate it and you resist my efforts to rotate it. Well now it's a completely different matter and has a bulge all around its equator. Unlike the Earth, the Moon also protrudes along the direction between the center of the Earth and the center of the Moon. 